Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome folks, today the Hungry Gamer is back with another playthrough, and today we are doing a solo play of... The Warp, designed by Thomas Snowart and published by Jumping Turtle Games. And Thomas, I'm sorry if I said your last name incorrectly. Now what we have here is the solo AI variant that is coming with this Kickstarter, and it is open for late pledges. And while I'm not going to go through the basics of how the game is played, you can check out my preview video for that, I will cover quickly how the AI works. Again, I'm not going to go into super depth, you should be able to pick it up as we go through the game. However, just a couple of basics here. I have selected as my two races, the Nurek Designers and the Luron Droids, which means that it's easier for me to do upgrades and I get better dice in combat and I can get some troops back. And if I up use any of the other powers, I will certainly explain what those are as it happens. But for the most part, you won't see those on the screen. The two exiled races are the Ecton Cultists and the Morlar Raiders. And any time it comes up that I'm dealing with those two things there, I will let you know, as the AI does not deal with those at all. And then the Guardian are the Silna officials. Something very satisfying about a bureaucrat being at the source of all the problems. And we'll talk about it if I ever get over there to fight them. But notice that it does have one of its dice gets multiplied by two, and it has two rerolls. Additionally, I will be taking on the AI for the Skolak Miners. And what we have here is it gives you the setup on one side of the card, though this clearly, as you can see, this is still all the prototype. And all the AI stuff is stuff that I actually that I uh, printed off just on cardstock. So everything is going to be better quality later on. However, what this here tells me is for the setup, I get two cards and my starter card, I get two gold and two energy, and the AI gets one gold and one energy. And then on the other side here, it tells us how they're gonna be scoring points. Every single time they build a gold mine, they're gonna be scoring points. And every single time they do an upgrade on a gold mine, they'll be scoring points. And every time they do a Terra shift, they will be scoring points. And depending on what phase of the game we are, that determines how many points they're gonna get. They're gonna to move to the next phase, if at the end of their turn, they have six of each resource. And anytime I'm doing a dice roll, a six means that they will do something with the gold mine. And then below that, it tells us that they are able to deal with prosperity quests and the pioneering quests. I will just go ahead and show you the three secret quests that I have. I have a conquer. If I am able to take out any of the AI's troops on a two or three or a four, I'll get some points. Spreading light. I need to do a build action and control a trade zone on a hex that is a height of one. And then my other one is perform a build and at the same time control at least power stations. So pretty straightforward secret quest that I have there. But wait, there's more. There's more you say, what? And that is right over here. We can see we have down here the AI tracker board, which they really only need for tracking of this in regards to the pioneering quest. I need to put the cubes on there. I'll do that in just a moment. We have our four archive cards that are available face up. Then up here, this is the combat board for the AI. And I'll explain that when combat actually happens that AI is involved with. But what you need to know is these are their combat cards and this will determine the preference order that they play them in. And in phases one and two, they will only have two cards. In phase three, they'll get a third. Then up here, we have the quests that are available at the moment. All right, so here we go. The AI does get to go first. The AI has three different phases that they go through. And the different phases affect one, as I showed you, the combat. And also it affects their AI cards. So right now we're in phase one. Then there will be cards for phase two and phase three. The specific race that you are battling against will determine which AI card you actually use in the deck. Because you actually have to build these decks as you go. But here we go, first one, and we have an extraction for the AI of two gold and one energy. And I'm just gonna be tracking all of the AI's supplies right here rather than using an AI board just for, just for space. And then it's going to do a develop action, it's going to build, and if I want to follow 
I can pay one energy to do so. So to start out, we need to see what it is that they're going to try to build. And for that, we roll a die. And a three, a three correlates to he is going to build a trade center. And to start out, it wants to build one in the highest height zone, which is over here. It's the four, so boom, it does a build there, and that ups all of his stats as far as trade zone goes. Then it's going to do a move. It's going to move one troop. And again, it also will always move to the highest, so we'll move one troop to there. And then at the bottom it says, if I do a build action, it will follow me and I'll get paid one gold and one energy. Now for me, I can follow and do a build. And to do that, it's gonna cost me one energy to do it. And then I can build anything I want with my start card. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So it's gonna cost me one energy, which goes to him. And then I'm gonna pay, oh no, I can't. Oh, I can't afford it. I can't afford it because I only have two energy and two gold and I don't have any other cards. So there will be no follow for me, and I'm just going to leave that out on top just so I can remember what it is that I might have to follow. All right, when we come to me, first thing I do is I get to do an extract and think what I'm going to do. And I'm not showing, you can't see my resource board. I will every so often when it, when it matters, I might hold it out on the screen for you to see. But since these boards and the prototype aren't double layered, things might move around a little bit, so I'll probably just kind of tell you where I am. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my troop, is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna place my one troop right here. And I get to consult, I'm not. And I am gonna go ahead and discard these two cards here and get my energy and my gold, because I just don't think I'm gonna be doing combat anytime soon. Then I get to draw two cards and we take a look over here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab this one build because I want to have access to that. And then I'm gonna draw one just off the top of the deck so I have another build. So I got lots of building I can do. And then we'll replace that card there. And as we see, we have four combat cards that's gonna get shuffled up and replaced. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is even though I know that they're gonna follow me if I do a build, I'm okay with that, I think. I think I'm okay with that because it's gonna get me more resources and that's really kind of what I need. And so what I'm gonna do is right away is I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna build this power plant because that's gonna get me a little bit closer to that one quest that I'm doing. So it's gonna cost me one gold and one energy. And I actually had already left a power plant out right here. That was a mistake, I do apologize. When I started out, that shouldn't have been there. That was an accident. So it's there now. Sorry about that. And that gets me up to power rating of two. Now the AI is going to do a follow. I'll collect my payment for the follow. And he rolls a die. And he's building another trade zone. And well, he doesn't have any choices. So he can't go there. So he builds it right over here. And that knocks his energy or his trade up one more. And then I get to move things around and I think I'm going to do so. I'm going to move, ooh, no, I'm gonna move one troop to here so I can go conquer that. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to conquer because he's got four, but that's okay. All right, his next card, he's going to do an extract. He's gonna get one gold and two energy. Then he's going to do a Terra shift of a one of each, which does mean he gets a point for doing that. And I do apologize, I left a couple terror shifts out there from earlier in my setup. Very, very sorry. Has not affected anything as of yet. But what he's going to do is he's going to do a terror shift right there. That a three. And this should actually be flipped over, as should this. And then he will reduce one, make that a two. Now I can also do a plus or minus one if I want to do a follow. It'll cost me a gold to do it, but I think, I think I want to. So I'm gonna pay him a gold, which will reduce that down to a, whoops, that should be down to a three. And of course that is gonna give him another point. So not sure if that was the smartest thing to do, but we shall see. And if I do a terror shift, he's gonna do a follow, but I will get paid a card for it. Comes to me, it's extraction time. And I think what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna get another troop right there. I'm not gonna discard anything. I'm gonna go ahead and collect two more. And I'm gonna grab this combat card here. And then I'm gonna pull one off the top of the deck. 
for an upgrade. Ooh, I like that because upgrades are very inexpensive for me. Now, unfortunately, I can't build a power plant. which so what I want to do is I'm going to go with an attack. So I'm going to move three troops to here. So right now the enemy has one die and I'm not going to play any combat cards because I think with my droid bonus, I can do it. Then we flip out two cards for the AI and it's going to allow him to flip one die to the other side and have two rerolls. And so for me, I don't like that. So I'm going to pay that bribe to make that one go away. So he collects that. This card goes away and he's going to have to pay for the other one, no matter what. So we start out. I'm going to get three dice. He's got one. I get to add two to my lowest roll here. And both of us have a equal multiplier. So we're really just straight up on these dice. And so even though he does get to do a flip, which the AI paid for, I get to add two to this. So I do win handily. He loses that. That goes away, and this goes away. I collect a reward card, ooh, which I can use for plus two cards if I need it. Not gonna use that right away. And that is excellent, excellent, excellent start for me. And then I can move stuff back around, and I'm going to take these two guys and move them one to there and one to there. Back to the AI. And he's going to do an extract. He's going to get two more energy, which is going to put him very close to being able to level up to the next phase. He's going to do a develop, which I have to pay a gold if I want to follow. I kind of do want to follow, assuming I have something. And for his develop, let's see, he's going to do... Oh, no! So five. You roll a five, that means you have to roll twice, and he gets to do both. And also, I should say that the... Actual game will have a die that has special faces on it. This is just one of these here. So he gets to roll twice. Six, that means he's going to do a gold mine. And two, that is a power station. And because he's doing a gold mine, he gets a point. Well, this might be a very fast game, guys. I'm not doing too hot. Now, first, the gold mine has to go there. And the power station also wants to go to the highest place. And so that will go there it means his gold is now up to two and his power stations are now also up to two. Now I can follow for a gold and I don't, uh, do I want, no, I don't want, I don't want him to up to phase two. So I'm not going to pay him anything. He's going to move two troops and he wants to move them to the highest, but he's already at the highest and he can't move any others. So I believe he just hangs out right there because highest and furthest is the same because furthest from the colony, he has not gone anywhere yet. And if I do a Terra shift, he's going to follow me. All right, back to me again. Once more, I'm going to put out a troop. Put the troop out here. This might not be a bad idea. This might be the wrong way, but this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to get rid of any cards. I'll collect two. I do want to be able to build a power station, so I'm going to claim this one. And then from the top of the deck, another build. And we'll replace our one right here. An upgrade. We still have upgrades and builds, so we're okay. Now, I perhaps made a mistake of going here because I really wanted to build more power plants, but that's what I did. So I think instead of any of that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an upgrade. And I can upgrade my power here, and it's going to cost me, because of my alien race, two less. So I'm going to only have to pay one energy and one gold to do that. And now that's going to put my power at the two, which gives me a total of four. So now every time I do an extract, I'll be getting two energy. So things are going well there. And he does not follow me at all. And time to move troops around. Let's see, I'm gonna bring this guy and this guy actually back over here, because I want that power plant area. So I'm gonna attack that next turn. Now I'm gonna point out at the end of this turn, if he winds up getting two more gold, he's gonna to advance to phase two. Ah, he did not get gold. He only got some energy. Yeah. Now he's going to do an attack. I'll be able to play one support card for the alien race. All right, so we're starting out. He's going from the four and he's going 
and he's going this way. Ooh, he's hitting the one. Wow, so he's taking two troops. Boom, boom. Now that's interesting. So he's got a four. The aliens only have one, but they're getting three dice. So let's move over to the other board. So we start out there. So the aliens are going to have three dice, two, to the AIs, two dice. And so I have to decide, do I want to try to mess them up? And I, I feel like I do, but unfortunately for me, it's my only card I can't afford. So there's nothing I can do there. So I can only try to bribe them from playing their own cards. So they got one and two. Ooh, I don't like that reinforcement. That's really nasty. But I feel like they're probably going to win anyway. So I'm going to let him pay for all of this mess, pay for everything, and it's just going to be a tax on his resources. And now there's something that I meant to show you last time I didn't because there's only one card being played. What actually happens now is this should have flipped over last time. And that tells you the order of these three cards that could be out here that they get played. So this was supposed to be the first battle. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. And this one's for this battle. So it'll pay for this one first, which is going to give him another troop. And then it'll pay for this one, which will up it. So it's now a four on a one. So really, there, there is pretty much no chance here. But let's find out what happens. There we go. And as you can see, we have 12, 14. Yeah, it's a, it's a slaughter because we have 16 times 4. So what is that? 60, 64 to a grand total of 10. So not even close. It is a massacre. And the AI does not draw a reward card. Now it's going to be moving two. Once it's going to take it to the highest place before the furthest. So one unit and two units comes back there. Okay, now I'm running low on resources here. And I feel like I have enough troops. So I'm going to go ahead and do an extract. And right now the extract is going to get me one gold and two energy. And really, I'm trying to get to three reward cards because that, that's going to let me activate some of my special abilities. And so I'm going, I'm going to discard this one and claim one gold for that. Then I'm going to claim this upgrade card and then draw one off the top of the deck for another upgrade. And then going back into, wow, not a lot of combat cards coming out right now, which is not great for me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another attack. I'm going to move these three from here over to here. So I'm going to have three. We're again going to be equal up when it comes to multiplier. But I'm going to have three dice to their two dice. And I'm going to go ahead. And I can't decide if I want to play this or not, this deflect. And I think... Again, I think I can win without doing that. I'm going to save that and use that, my, my, my resources, to deal with these two cards as I need to. So let's see, we able to flip a die. I'm not worried about that. And then cancel one of my cards. Well, I'm not playing any cards. So I got no problem with that. So stinks to be the AI. So I'm going to just let the AI do it. That and these because I'm confident that I can just win. And then we'll flip this over so we see it'll do that one, then that one, but it doesn't matter because it has plenty of money. Oh my, not good, but I do get to add two to that. So I have a 10, it has a nine, I'm going to win, and it's flipping of a die isn't gonna do anything, only would make it worse. So I do manage to win. Then I get another reward card, which would get me Another card, but again, I'm just going to hold on to that. Then I can do a move, and I think I will. It will come there. All right, and the AI going to extract. Ooh, gets two gold, and it gets a troop. And we'll put that down there. And you know what? I have been cheating the AI for several turns because I didn't see on these last two cards that it had a troop there. I just, I just didn't see it because I wasn't paying enough attention. So I'm going to go ahead and give it two more troops out there, like so, putting them on the highest. Now, it's going to do another develop, and to follow, it'll cost me an energy to do. All right, 
and he is going to develop again. Wow, he's developing this his trade like crazy, which puts him up to a six on his trade. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade my gold production. And so I get to pay one less gold and one less energy. It's only going to cost me two energy to do that. And then, of course, I have to pay him one energy to do that follow. All right, then he's going to move some troops. He's moving them to the highest and furthest. So that's the highest. That's the furthest. So I'll take two and send them out there. And he's going to follow me if I build. And he does not move to the next phase yet. All right, so for me, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do an extract again, which will give me one gold and two energy. And I'm going to toss this card here for one more gold and one more energy. And as much as I don't, as much as I like this one here, I'm going to do the same thing again for another gold and another energy. I need to build up my resources because I feel like I'm going to be falling behind very soon here. And I'm just going to draw two right from the top of the deck. I'm, I'm hunting for some combat cards. Great, got a combat card and a build card. Excellent. Now, unfortunately, he's going to follow me on a build but nothing I can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and build another power plant. It's gonna cost me one gold. I'm gonna, actually, I wanna pay two gold and I'm gonna put that right here. So now I got three power plants times two. That puts me up to where every time I do an extract, I'm gonna be getting six, excuse me, I'm gonna be getting three energy. But what's more important is next time I do a build, I'm gonna to get to accomplish this right here. Now the AI is following me, it pays me one energy, one. So it is going to build a command station, which it will put right there. Cause that is, no, not there. It will put that right there. Cause that is the highest. Okay, I can move troops around. Oh, I didn't get rid of this guy right here. Okay. And here we go, back to the AI. And, well, that's probably gonna be it for phase one. Two gold and one energy. And it's gonna do a Terra shift, which is gonna give him a point. So, I, you know, when you look at the board, it looks like I'm doing okay, except he keeps getting points for doing these Terra shifts. So he's gonna make this one a four. Nope, oh, and these are supposed to be revealed. All these are supposed to be revealed. And, Make this one a three. Now I can choose to follow if I want, but I'm not gonna do that follow. Then he's gonna do a double move. Now this is always interesting because it moves them to the highest, the highest first, and then it goes to the furthest away, but it's gonna move to back over here. So he's just kind of moving troops around. So I'm not quite sure what's going on, but it's gonna do a follow if I do a another build. However, the end of the round, it's gonna pay six energy and six gold to advance itself into phase two. Now, what that means is not a ton as far as what I'm doing, but mainly it means it's now gonna be using the phase two cards, which we shall see what difference that is going to make. And also he's gonna be scoring two points every time he builds a gold mine or upgrades a gold mine or does a terror shift. All right, so back to me, I'm gonna do another extract the problem is he, oh gosh, this is frustrating. I feel like I have to do a build so I can claim my quest. So he's gonna get to follow me on that. So I'm gonna get one gold and three more energy. I'm gonna discard this one for one more energy and I'm gonna discard this one for one more gold. And now I'm just hunting for combat cards. Yeah. Oh man, no combat cards. I gotta build another upgrade. Could've just pulled those out of the other deck that's over there. And now what I'm gonna do, since I have a ton of energy right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a build action I'm going to build a laser cannon. So that's going to cost me one gold and two energy. And I'm going to put this laser cannon right here. And that's going to let me target him over here and all these things there. So I feel like that that's a good move for me. And then, of course, he is going to follow me on that. And he's going to do a build. He's going to have to pay me one energy to do it. And let's see what he's building. Five. Oh, man. So he's gonna build a gold mine, no! And another gold mine, oh! Oh, that's gonna give him four points. That puts him at eight points. I have almost nothing. Oh my gosh, that is devastating. Oh, this is bad. Oh, but wait, he can't build these gold mines because there's nowhere for him to build them. So he doesn't get four points. 
but I do have to roll those again. So that's a gold mine, gotta re-roll. So another trade post, that's gold mine. That's gold mine, there we go. A trade post and another command center. And the trade post has to go here and the command center will go here. So really what I think I need to do, I think I need to actually start making my way over here and conquer some of his territory. Cause if I can do that, if I can manage that, I'll get all of that stuff and that would be huge for me. Move some troops around, which I'm not gonna do. And the good thing is I've accomplished this right here. So I get two victory points for accomplishing my power grid. All right, so now we get to see our first phase two. All right, we have an extract and he's going to do a develop. Ooh, it cost me more to follow his develop. Ah, oh, geez, roll twice. That's another trade center, but he can't build one, so I gotta reroll that. It's another gold mine, can't build one, gotta reroll that. Another trade center. All I can build is a power plant or a command center. So I will just roll a D2. One through three, power plant. Okay, so he builds a power plant right here, and all he can build there is a command center. All right, he's gonna move one troop, which he wants to go to the highest, so comes over here. And he will follow me if I do a Terra Shift, but I'll get two cards. Oh, it's tempting, but of course I'll give him two points. All right, so to me, I'm going, so I, I need to build, I need to build some more command centers. Cause I just can't, I'm not getting many troops. So that's kind of gonna be my target. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do another extract, which is gonna pay me that. I'm gonna toss this card, get one more of each. Then I'm going to draft from the face up cards, this one right here for an upgrade. I'm gonna draw from the top of the deck for another build, man. And then as I replace, we see we have four builds. So these get discarded and out we go with new ones. And I'm just gonna do a nice simple build right here. I'm gonna pay one gold and one energy. I'm gonna build myself a new command center. And I'm gonna place my command center right there. Now, if I can just upgrade that, I'll be able to get some more troops each round. And then I'm gonna use my laser cannon. I'm gonna pay two energy and I'm going, I'm going to blast him. I wanna soften him up. So I get to roll two attack dice and a four, five or six, I get to remove one. So boom, I took one of his troops out. So as I slowly make my way over there, we'll see if I can turn this into something good. I can move around. I don't want to move anybody. So good, good. And I'm gonna pay one gold to replenish my missing quest. And I'm gonna take this one here, do at least two rerolls during a single combat. I feel like I should be able to find some reroll cards, even though I don't have any right now. All right, next, ooh. So he gets one gold one energy and he's getting that two troops. So I'm glad I started to soften him up a little bit. So they're gonna go to his highest, which is right here, which is a, can't see, right there, which is a four. And that is back to full. So I gotta, I gotta work on that. Oh my gosh, he's doing an attack. Oh, wow, he's he is coming for me is what is going on right there, wow. Boom, I'm glad I didn't soften that one up. I thought about doing that. So he's coming from a four, attacking a one. Oh gosh, there's almost nothing I can do about that. So he's got three dice. The AI, the exiled race has two dice. And there's almost no reason for me to bother using my card because my only card is, are these. And so the odds of me winning are so small because he's times four. So I'm gonna have to just let it go and just let him burn his resources here as he plays two cards. So good news, at least it'll cripple what he has and he's gonna be adding three to each one of his dice. So he's gonna have a bunch of sixes is what he's gonna have. All right, so let's see the order that he plays these things in. First he does that one, adds two to everything. So he has a five and a six and that's gonna cost him this right here. And then one gold to add one to the other one, and he wins by a bazillion. 
And unfortunately for me, that means right here, he now controls five hexes. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, he controls five hexes, so that's gonna be two points for him, which puts him at six. Oh man, and I got two. I got two points. And he's gonna move two, again, going to the highest. One, two. And he's gonna follow on a terror shift. Well, I'm not gonna do that, because that's gonna give him Pretty much give him the game. Okay, back over here to me. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I think the first thing I gotta do, I'm gonna do an extract. Give myself three more energy and one more gold. I'm gonna discard this for one more gold, one more energy. Come over here and see what I want. I do, I do need to hunt for some rerolls, but I do like this jetpack. They kind of even things out. So I am gonna take the jetpack and I'm gonna draw one more from here. Dang, not. Not the reroll that I wanted. And I think I need to do an upgrade if I can. Oh, I don't have the upgrade that I want. Uh, okay, well, in that case, I think it's time to just do an attack. I'm just going to come straight at him. And that's gonna let me get closer to getting my spreading light quest if I take this one over. So I'm gonna send three troops right here. And actually, right before I do that, I almost forgot, I'm gonna spend two energy and shoot that with my laser cannon. So right before, I'm just gonna to try to get rid of him and not have to actually fight him. Well, I did not, didn't get any four, fives, or sixes, so I do actually have to do the fight. So he has one die to my three dice. And I get to choose what I wanna play first. And I'm gonna play this guy right here to where I can multiply a die by two. And his two options are multiply two dice by two. Oh, and even out the multiplier. Ah, well, I can deal with one of those. You know, I think I, I, think I want the sure win. So I'm gonna just go all out here. I'm gonna bribe him to not play those cards. So that's gonna get him much closer to the next phase, but it's pretty much gonna guarantee that I win this. Oh my gosh. So I do get to double one die or more. To use this card, I'm gonna pay one gold and I'll make that an eight. I can only go up to a six, but so I have six, seven, eight, nine to his three. And what's also important there is that's given me another reward card, which I could use for a troop, which is very good. Or I could spend all of these right now, which is what I'm gonna do to activate my droid's special ability here. I'm just gonna put gold on there. So first I get two cards. I'm gonna claim these two combat cards and replace them with two builds, which means that gives us four builds out there. So we have to do a shift here. Ooh, extra dice, ambush, upgrade, and a reinforce. And I actually have to do a discard because I have too many cards. I will discard that. But now all my combat cards are gonna be cheaper. Get him on out of there. I can move troops around if I want, but I don't wanna. Okay, so next turn, what I need to do is I need to build a trade center right there. Okay, his next one, he's doing an extract and getting a troop. So there is his troop, an extract of two gold and one energy. And he is attacking right here. That's what he's going after. And then he's gonna be doing a move and he's gonna follow a build on me. Now this time I might be able to make him lose. So he is a four going in against a two. So they both have three dice for this. And I know I said I was gonna to try to lose, but instead I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this here, which is going to allow me to get a whole bunch of troops in my supply and it's gonna be cheaper for me to do it. So I think that's what I wanna do. Then he's gonna get two cards, which he's gonna to have to pay for. And He's gonna play them in the order of two, then one, though it doesn't matter because he has enough energy for both. 
And now I have to hope that he loses. I have to hope that the exiled race loses. But we are now at a four attacking a two. Oh, and he gets to add one more die. That was his other thing there. Okay, so here we have 10, 12, 17, yeah, way more. So it's a blowout. But that works out because it costs him his energy. And then what it does for me is I'm going to pay four gold and get three troops in my supply, which is exactly what I was trying to do is get more troops out there. So that does mean I'm now pretty low on gold. To me now, I'm just I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to worry about not having gold right now. I'm going to do an extract, but I'm going to get a troop plus the three I already, plus the three that I just had before, and I'm putting four troops out on the board. So there's one, two, three, and four. So now I'm in a good position here to try to beat him. So if I attack him here and I win, I'm going to wind up getting two victory points. And if I build something there, I'm going to get some victory points. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on making my attack there. So I'm going to get rid of this for one gold and one energy. And I'm just going to grab two cards right off the top. Nice. That's the reroll. I'm going to be able to claim that too. Oh, this is going to be big. And this one there, that's fine. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spend two energy to shoot my laser right there. Yes, I got one. Nice. That's exactly what I needed to have happen. Boom. Then for my turn, nope, not from there. From here. Oh, no, I only, oh, shoot, I can only send two. Oh, I should have put four there. Oh, well, I didn't do it. Ah. So I'm going to get two dice. The AI is going to get two dice. I'm definitely going to be playing this card right here. I'm definitely going to be using that double reroll. Unless, well, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to do it no matter what which is nerve wracking. He gets two cards here. He can add a die. Oh my gosh, and add two troops. Oh no. Well, the good news is this is gonna be free for me because I unlocked that upgrade. So yeah, I think I gotta, I gotta pay and bribe him away from both of these. So that's gonna be a total of two gold and three energy to get rid of both of those, which is also going to send him into phase three. So this may be a mistake but I got to do it. Oh my gosh. Well, luckily for me, oh, well, I have a times three. He has a times two. I got it. I'm going to do that reroll. I'm going to reroll both of mine, which may be a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. This may cost me, but I'm hoping that it doesn't. Nice. So that is huge. So what that means is, well, one, it means that, that I, I won, but more importantly, I am big time on the board because it means I just got both of those. Yes. Oh man, that was huge. Now I need to reinforce over here. I'm going to bring him there and that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Oh gosh, guys, that was so huge. I'm now within one point of him. Ah, but... No, but the end of this phase, he's going to wind up one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's going to go to phase three at the end of this. All right. So, yep, two gold and two energy. Oh, no, he's doing a Terra shift, which is going to be worth two points for him. Ah, no, 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 no. But I can't do anything about it. Well, at least he did it now, because next turn would have been three points. So shoot, shoot, shoot. So we're starting with the furthest away. So over that one, he's going to make a two and he can't hit one that I control. So he'll make that one bound to a two. And then he's going to move one. and He's going to follow if I build, which is what I'm doing. And then end of the turn, two, three, four, five, and six, six gold. One, two, three, four, Six energy, and he is now in phase three. And that also means he's now going to get three combat cards every time we have to fight. So I'm extra glad that I dealt with doing this other thing as well. And I forgot that I should have paid some money to get some new quests. So I'll do that at the end of the next turn. All right. 
what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I think I need to do an extract, which will give me three energy and one gold. Then I'm going to exchange one energy for one gold, because I am very low on gold. I'm gonna discard this for one gold and one energy. Then I'm going to claim this enforce card for combat, and then one off the top of the deck, which is an, ooh, an ambush, I like that. And then replacing the one that I took with the build. All right, so I need to do a build right here, right now. And unfortunately, he's gonna follow me. So boom, I'm doing this. I'm building the trade trade center there. Cost me one energy to do it. But more importantly, that goes there. And I spread some light. What? Which brings me up to six points. Then moving stuff around. All right, I'm gonna start making my way out there because I wanna take on that guy. So. I might need to start building a drop ship for next. Okay, so here we go. The first card of the level three phase. Whoa, that, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Three gold and two energy. All right, it's gonna do a build. If I wanna follow, it's gonna cost me a gold and an energy. Oh my gosh. Well, the good news is he doesn't have much left to build. And what's gonna get him points is building gold mines. But fortunately, I drove him off of this one here. So that means all he can build, let's see, because he can't build, oh, he can build a gold over there. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize that before. So since he can build a gold here, I'm gonna go ahead and say that he will build at least one gold right here this turn, which is going to trigger the end game. So he can build a gold there, and that's actually all he can build. He can't build anything else. So yes, he will build a gold. And since we are in phase three, that's gonna be three more points for him, which means he's up to 11 right now. And that is not good at all for me. That may have just sealed my doom as it were. Oh man, that was bad. Now I can follow that build and I think I better give him those. Oh, never mind. I can't, I don't have any build cards because I am a fool. Okay, and then he's gonna move one and come into the highest. So there he is. And there is no change in the phase because we're already in phase three. And we are on, I'm gonna mark this here. We're on a countdown of three turns till game over. So I'm just gonna put these three right here, kind of as a countdown. So what do I wanna do? Well, I think, for my extract, unfortunately, I still don't have a lot of gold, but I'm gonna take my, my three energy and one gold. I'm gonna toss this one for a gold and an energy. And I'm gonna make my way up there. That's where I need to go. I need to get up there and take that out. Question is, how do I do that? I think, oh, I need to pick up my cards first. And I'm just gonna draw from the top of the deck, one upgrade. And another ambush, okay, which is fine, because I think I need to start making my way out there for some combat. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do an attack, like these three to here. So I am attacking uphill, but he only has one die, so I feel like I should be okay here. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play this one right here, which will allow me to do a lot of boosting of my dice, and my lowest die does get plus two. And so he's gonna put out Three cards. Like so. Okay, so I'm not overly concerned about that one. That one is an extra die. He has enough money for everything. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay him off on that, and that's it. And then I'm gonna let him pay for both of these. And let's take a look. And he does this one, then that one, then that one. Not that it matters because both of these are going to happen. And let's see how we do. And so he's going to be times three and I'm only going to be times two here. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is a whooping, I think. So this one actually becomes a six. So I got 18 times two. I got a 36, he has an 18, because six times three, and that stuff gets paid for, so that's good news for me. I take him out, and I'm gonna use the exile ability here, the exiled race ability for taking it on. I'm gonna sacrifice one of my troops, 
and I'm going to do that and gain one gold and two energy. And I actually, I, again, I forgot to use my, my laser cannon. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Claim my reward here. That's what I'm talking about. A, a drop ship. Nice. So I'm going to go, I'm going to turn this in right now. I'm going to claim that drop ship and I'm just going to go ahead and put my drop ship right here. Oh, you know what? It's less exciting to have the drop ship because I can't use the drop ship to attack that. So a little less exciting. Then I'll go ahead and use my laser on that. I will spend two to roll two dice. See if I can't just get rid of it and claim it. Oh, I got rid of one. And this has to flip over. There we go. And I can move some stuff around. And one and two. And then I'm going to pay one gold and two energy to get three new quests. And so my new quests are, I need to do a build while controlling three command centers. That's probably not going to happen. Win a combat by supporting an exiled race. That might happen. And win a direct combat against another player without using any of my cards. That also might happen. And if I can get one more hex, I'll be able to accomplish a pioneering mission. So it's not hopeless, but it's not looking good. All right, boom. One of those goes away this turn and then two more. Okay, he starts out with an extract of two troops, two gold, and one energy. And he is attacking. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's coming after me. So he's either going to go from here to here or here to here. And both of them are about the same. Uh, well, I think he would go from here to here because that is a better fight for him. That makes more sense. So three troops coming at me. Not good. Well, and I'm going to have to fight, fight, fight. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so the card I'm going to play, I'm going to play this ambush. So at least it'll be four on four which might give me a chance if he rolls really poorly, but I doubt it. Oh, he's got two re-rolls. Ooh, two doubles. Well, at least nothing can happen there, so obviously not worried about that. And I'm going to pay off those others. And he's going to have to pay for his. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh, I need some serious, serious luck. And oh, he's going to take my dropship too. Oh, well, that's not good. Even with my upping that. Three, doesn't matter. He takes me out. So I should have just let it happen. But I was kind of hoping somehow I would be able to claim one of those uh, quests there. All right, so he boots me out. And that means one, two, three, four. So he only has five. Ah, oh, man, not good, not good. And he's going to move two and one and two. Now back to me. What do I want to do? So I'm now totally cut off from the guy there, but I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I have to go after the warp guardian. I think that's really my only chance. And the good news is at least I'm coming from a three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. No, nope, first thing I'm going to do is I got to do my extract. So one gold and three energy. There aren't any cards out there that are really going to help me right now. So I'm going to draw two off the top. Not what I wanted. Come on, give me something good. And not what I wanted. All right, so here we go. Going for the warp. And I'm looking at, oh, before I do anything else, I'm going to zap him with my laser cannon. I'm going to go ahead and zap him right here, see if I can't get rid of two of those before I do my, my warp party. Ooh, I got one. So at least I zapped one of his things away. All right, so he has six dice. He can mul multiply his best one by two and can re-roll two of them, but he only has a two. Meanwhile, I'm coming out of a out of a three on his two multiplier. I can play two cards, but unfortunately, I only have one worth playing here. So I will play this card. And all right, so we're going to pop on over here. I only got one card I can really play, which is this one right here. So I'm going to be able to get myself... I'm going to get myself up to six dice against the AI's six dice as well. And I'm going to, so I need to make sure that I have one gold and one energy left so I can pay for my best thing. And the support from the AI, the jerk. Well, that's not going to do anything. So I'm not worried about that. 
those two, I don't like that, so I'm gonna pay those off. He's gonna wind up paying for his thing, but I will bribe those away, so I don't have to deal with that. And all that's I'm gonna have to deal with is two rerolls, and one die is gonna get turned in, is gonna get doubled for them. So I am paying for my plus three dice right here, right now. Okay, ooh. All right, so I do get to turn this into a three. And let's see where we are. So I don't like that one there, but that is how it goes. Now he gets two rerolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and reroll both these ones. No reason not to. And he gets to double that six. Wow. So he has 10, 20 with that other six, 25 times two, that's a 50. Meanwhile, I have 12, 18, I have 9, 15, 16, 19, 25 times three, which is 75 to his 25. So, or excuse me, to his 50, which means not only do I defeat him, but I get that 25 combat power quest as well. So I just earned myself three points, which gives me nine, which is not a ton, but I'll take it. And I will, if I can hold on to it, I will get four points at the end of the game. Okay, then I get to move troops around, which is not, I don't get to do much because I'm kind of stuck there. I need to win something so I can reconnect all my stuff. Oh, I can't move any troops. Oh my gosh. I'm in a bad shape. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much just holding on and hoping I can win that. Hold on to that thing at the end. Okay, I didn't build, so nothing happens there. Okay, let's see what he does. Oh, one more turn after this. He's going to extract one gold and three energy and a troop, which will go right here. He's going to develop. If I want to, he's going to do an upgrade develop, and I can follow for a gold, which I most certainly will, but let's see what he's going to develop. Okay, he's going to upgrade his gold. Of course he's gonna upgrade his gold, which means he just got three more points. Oh man, I think that may have just sealed the win for him because he has 10, 14, I only have nine. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an upgrade. It's only gonna cost me one gold. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my assault ships in case I can get that assault ship back. It'll be useful. Okay, and then he's gonna move some troops. Um, we'll move one to there. And one to there. So I guess I'm not gonna be taking that back. Okay, back to me. Uh, so I gotta hold that place. Okay, well, I think the first thing I need, I needed another troop. Sadly, I never upgraded my command center, so I'm only getting one troop. I wanna put that one troop. Let's see, that's a three and a three. I wanna put that one troop right here. I'm gonna try to take that out and just claim it. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and use my two energy, roll two dice, and try and take out that last exiled race there. Got it. So that means I'll be able to just move one in and claim that as an attack. I'm gonna throw both of these build actions away to get two gold. Then I'm gonna claim two cards that are face up, these two combat cards. And we put out another upgrade and another combat card. Okay, then for my action, I'm gonna do an attack, doink, which isn't very exciting. I don't get any rewards for that, but what it does mean is I now control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different places, which means I get this pioneering quest, which means I just got three more points. Again, I'm kind of, sort of back in the game here because now I have 12 points to his 14, but I'm also controlling this. So I had, oh gosh, this is close. Oh my gosh, it's so close. And I did not do a build, so he does not follow. I don't have any troops to move around. And that is it for me. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This is it, this is the last turn. We shall see. Okay, he gets two gold, three energy. So he's got so many resources, he can do whatever he wants. He's gonna do a build action. Oh, this could, oh boy, if he rolls a gold mine, he'll build a gold mine there for three points. That'll be brutal. So no three, no six, no five. I need a one or a two, come on. Three, oh no, oh no, no, no. There he goes, 
Rose gold mine. Three points. Ugh, brutal. And I can follow with a build action, but I don't have any build actions. Oh, oh that was the worst. He's going to move some troops about. Well, I guess he goes from here, goes right back to his strong square. Okay, I got to see if there's any way that I can get a few more points. The only thing I can think of is if I can somehow do an attack and take out and win a combat without using any cards, I can get two more points for my private quest. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do for my extract, get one right there. Then for my actions here, since I'm doing this, well, I'm doing it without any cards to try to win. I'll just discard these three so I get three gold and two energy, and then I'll just draw two off the top of the deck. Again, they don't really matter. There we go. And this is it. I'm doing first, I'm going to shoot my laser here. I'm going to use two energy for two shots. If I can roll, oh my gosh, if I, I could just wipe them both out and then just take it. Oh, that'd be amazing. Ooh, but I, hmm. But I need a combat, so I actually need to only get one. And I got none. Oh. Well, I don't think there's a very good chance of me doing this, but my only thing I can do is try. It's the only way I'm going to get some more points. So I'm playing nothing. I have one die versus his two, but I am times three to his, whoops, to his times two. So clearly, I'm just going to buy off all of these if I can. So... Unfortunately, I can't buy all of them off. That's bad. That's really bad. So I'm in a real bad, bad spot because I can buy this one off. Or I can buy the. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to win this. Well, I'll buy that off. And oh, wait, I can do a trade action. I can do a trade. So I can trade one gold and turn that into one energy. Which I'm, ah, you know, maybe I wasn't allowed to do that right now, but well, what's done is done. Sorry, Thomas. That's there. That's there. So at least we're even up. So if my one die plus two can beat his two dice, then I'll get those points. So we are even up with threes and not even close. So my guy gets destroyed. So actually, he's supposed to come back to my general supply. I forgot to do that earlier, so I could have had one more troop out there somewhere, but oh well. That's my special power with the droids. And that is going to be the end of it. Though, I did manage to hold on to this here, so that is worth another four points. One, two, three. Oh, well, I am out of tokens. Four. I'll give out. Let's use one more thing. So, final score here. The AI has a rollicking 3, 8, 13, 14, 17 points. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 16. I lost by 1. Oh, man. Oh, that's brutal. Had I simply gotten, if I, the luck had been with me and I'd gotten that last one, I would have won. Oh, close. Anyhow, there you have it, folks. That is the solo play of the warp. I was defeated, sadly. I thought I had it maybe there at the end, but I hope this gives you a good idea of how the solo play works. I'm certain that I made some mistakes. Please do keep in mind that everything is still in the prototype phase, even down to the AI Things are going to be adjusted. Components are going to look different, so do keep that in mind. As always, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.